Hey, Carl here with Columbia Water Gardens, and John's finger is covering the microphone. <laughs> Shut up, dude. It you got to cup your hand like this. It's not going to matter. It matters entirely. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, we're leaving that. You have yeah, to leave it. Yeah, leave it. Seriously? All right, you have to edit it I out. I am not editing that out. Don't, That's just staying. keep going. March. All right, follow me. <laughs> hey, we're in <laughs> It has been a week. If you've seen me on Facebook today, you saw a total meltdown. But even still, we finished pulling off an amazing project. We are today down in Fallbrook, California. And this project was brought to us by Aquascape. It's a certified Aquascape contractor lead. And we did all sorts of stuff, but we left off the plants. You'll get the idea. Check it out. So the whole idea when you walk back into the backyard is, is that as you come through the side yard, the first glimpse you see is you'll see a bit of a waterfall coming up over there. You can't hear it on the microphone. I really won't pick it out, but come on over. I'll show you what we did. We did some really cool things on this job. Um, we did a block wall. We did pavers. Uh, we did some really cool carving with the uh, with the um, uh, with with the boulders and the waterfall, and we did some really other really neat things. Check this out. Now, as you can see, nothing's been planted yet. They've got their landscaper coming in behind us, but for this weekend, they've got a family party going on. They've got uh, their kids coming over. They've got everybody coming over. Come on over here, and I'll show you what we got. So this is what is called a modified 16 foot pondless waterfall kit. I say modified because the top drop over there added about another 10 feet of stream bed. Um, so if you buy the Aquascape pondless waterfall kit, you can build everything that is in here minus that final drop that you see up at the very top. So we added about another 10 foot by 10 foot liner. We did some cool things. Come on over here, I'll show you what we did. Come on, John, don't be bashful. Yeah, thanks, dude. This, this bottom drop, Aaron, my foreman, he, uh, he engineered this. He saw this boulder, and normally I think I would have turned it sideways, but he saw this really cool turn in here, so this final drop here just gives just a wonderful sound. But this is something that we've never done before. Look at this. This wall is actually built into the pond itself. Such a terrible cameraman. <laughs> Slow your roll, man. John, I direct you follow. Hey, you went way too fast with that spillway, so All let's, right, let's fine. continue. Can I talk about the wall now? Absolutely. You got All my right. attention. This wall is something we've never done before. We built the retaining wall um, and curved it into the water feature. A lot of times what you'll see is, is you'll see retaining walls that have this broken apart effect where the waterfall just breaks apart and the water comes through that waterfall. But I decided to do something different. I brought this retaining wall all the way through and into. Come over here and I'll show you where the magic is. The magic is, is that the liner is actually behind the retaining wall itself. So the liner comes back over and it comes up behind and this is built and carved right in. Look at this. We carved this capstone to come not only right up against the edge of this boulder here, but also underneath to be able to match this up with this boulder here as well. Now this bot, this second drop here, whoa, no, this is the second drop. This second drop wasn't really kicking out the way I wanted it to, so I took the grinder to it and cut this lip. And by taking this, uh, the, the grinder and cutting the lip, I put it at just a slight angle downwards, which allows us to just really have this nice kick coming over here. And we still have a little bit of dribble coming off the front of the rock here. And there's more. This stone here, the water was just clinging right over here against the side here. And that wasn't good enough, so I took the grinder and not only cut a lip here, but I cut another lip here. And underneath here, there's another lip that I cut to be able to get the water to bounce and kick out and give this nice little rainy, drippy effect over here. Now, what happens when you've got a problem with your edging and your water is trying to come up and over your edging? You know what you do? You build a mystery falls. 
So I'm going to show you something that's a really cool advanced technique. And this is something that's going to solve problems for you when you have problems with your edging. Now, I'm going to show you on the left-hand side, we had, um, we had a problem with our edging where the water was just wanting to come right up and over the liner. So what we had to do is we had to set a pipe inside that edging. So over here, we ran a two-inch pipe, and that two-inch pipe is kicking out right here. Just a little bit of a dribble, but this is enough to drain this water feature and cause a serious leak. So we took that and we made it into an advantage. And I took my grinder and I cut that out and made a little bit of a trough, just a dribble. We're going to cover that over with a rock. And finally, up here where the spillway is, the final entrance, one of the things I love to do is I love to naturalize. So we naturalized it with uh, these boulders and we kind of made it look like there's a tree maybe that fell down or something. And we set these big stones inside and we made a beautiful, beautiful spring kind of an entrance with the water coming into the waterfall. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw this project about two weeks ago. It's been slow moving for us. Now I know, I know we want to move faster than this, but right now COVID has us all bottled up right now with problems with um, staffing, labor is all, you know, not right. We don't have the size crew that we normally run with this time of year, but we still are able to pull off some really amazing water features. So it took us a little bit longer to get it done than we normally like, but we're super, super proud of this. Follow me. Check out this curved retaining wall. What you don't see with the curved retaining wall is, is that so many of these capstones have to be cut. Look at the, look at the carving on this one here. Look at this, look at this, look, you got one, you got two, you got three cuts just to make this one turn. One cut here, another cut here just to make that turn there. But I love to do this too. We wanted to frame off the side of this retaining wall so we put this big boulder here and I carved the front of the boulder right into the capstones. I'm gonna jump down. So we carved the front of the boulder right into the capstones. So it makes it look like this boulder might have been here a lot longer than it actually is. Pretty heavy stone. I want to say it's probably about maybe 1,200 pounds, 1,400 pounds, give or take. We put down a classic basket weave pattern for the uh, paver patio. It's wet right now. We just pulled the polymeric sand on top of it and brushed it and power washed it off. And then we framed off this last boulder over here. Oh, I'm gonna track mud. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go up and around. I'll meet you over there. I took off my shoes. Look at Carl run. Yeah, boy. All right. And last thing we did over here was this. I spent the better part of half a day, maybe more, doing this. Carving this, 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 this to be able to fit this boulder and make it look like the retaining wall is coming right out of this boulder. Guys, this has been a fun project. Um, <laughs> I've got so much work backed up behind me right now, I can't even see straight. Look, if you're looking to call me right now to hire us to do some work, we're still doing consultations. In fact, we're hiring right now. If you're watching this video right now, Give me a call, 888-713-7771 if you need work. I'm hiring right now. I could possibly even use you. If you want to join a winning team, if you want to have so much fun working, creating, designing, and executing something that nobody else has as a custom, one-of-a-kind work of art that no one else has, then give us a phone call. In the meantime, stay tuned to my YouTube channel all week next week and for the next four weeks, we are building the biggest fountainscape that we've ever built in Corona, California, and I cannot wait to get started on that job. I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens, and I'm here to remind you that transforming backyards for awesome customers, that really, really matters. Happy ponding.